Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video is requested by Tommy Parker. In this video, I'll be talking about how to breed certain colors in uh, certain breeds that you need. So it might be rare coats or maybe just general coats that you need for the trophies. So I, right now, need Dartmoor coats. So I need to have mouse gray, palomino, and strawberry roan. Now one of the ways that I could make sure that I got it in the first try would be if I took, I could breed some Dartmoors over and over again until I got them. But there is a quicker way of doing that, and one of the ways of doing that is to use a hair pack. So you can use a hair pack, now this will cost three pounds unless you have some in stock, but sometimes it's cheaper than buying the folds or the coat colour specifically out of direct sales. And the benefit is that you can then resell um, the spare fold. So you can make a benefit from having the fertility wand out of the hair pack. Now the hair's lily is the important part. So the hair's lily allows you to pick the colour of the folds at birth. So if I was using a Harris pack, then I would do that because that means that I could breed those folds and pick the exact color that I need, and then I could sell the other one off if I didn't need it. So that's a way that you can do it and make sure you guarantee it. Now the other thing you can do, and this is what I'm gonna show you next, is you can use, um, if you don't have, say for example, you didn't have any Dartmoor ponies, but you needed the Dartmoor coats, but you had lots of Alcatikis or lots of Connemaras or lots of Hanoverians or whatever. If you take the mares, if you take some purebred mares of a breed that isn't the, the one you need and you cover them with stallions of the breed you do need, so just for example, cover the Alcatiki mare, purebred, with a purebred Dartmoor stallion, then the foal will be a Dartmoor foal. If you covered a Frisian mare who's purebred with a purebred Dartmoor stallion, the foal will be Dartmoor every time. Now if you're starting to go into crossbreds then that's not guaranteed but whenever it comes to crossing purebred on purebred of different breeds the stallion will always be what the foal inherits as a, as a breed. So what I might do is take an Alcatiki female, cover her with a purebred Dartmoor stallion using a hair pack and then I will have some folds of the right color that I need. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can do it. If you don't have a hair pack or you just don't want to spend a hair pack or you don't want to spend passes or whatever, the way you can do it um, is to do it day by day and you just keep covering the mares. So I'm going to look for a purebred mare and I'm going to look for one that has amorphous arms so that I can just do this more quickly. So I'll just quickly go in here and search so there is a mare. Okay, now this is a thoroughbred. Oh wait a minute, that didn't give me a mare. Hold on, we'll do that again. So advanced search, more criteria. So gender, female, purebred. Okay, so we've picked a female purebred mare. So we've picked one now. So this we're going to use a Frisian for this. So this free, female Frisian is a hundred percent. Frisian. Okay, and I want to try and get a Dartmoor full. So I'm just going to quickly put her in an EC. And then what we'll do is we'll cover the mare. So I'll go into the public coverings and I'll look for a Dartmoor. And also I want to make sure I get a purebred. So let's take the little star to make sure we want to get purebred Dartmoors. And we'll click cover. So what we could do, as I said, is add the hair pack and guarantee what color we get. Or we can just take a chance and hope that it works. Now, another thing just to bear in mind, breeding two horses of the same colour together does not affect what colour the foal is. The foal's colour is based off a percentage. And by breeding you know, two parents of the same colour does not in any way increase that chance. Okay, it's randomised. So we'll cover this uh, Frisian mare with this purebred stallion of the dark mare breed. So she's now in foal to that. So what I'll do is I'll start to age her forward. So you can do this day by day. I'm just doing it with amorphous arms just to show you quickly in a video. But if you're just looking to do this cheaply and um, in a way that works for you, you can just age them day by day. And it will take a little while to get them. And you are leaving it up to a chance. You will probably end up with a lot of duplicates of colors you don't need, but you can sell those off to people that do need them. So there, it is a way of making money. Um, and if you're using very cheap covers just to get colors, then it's going to work out okay. So what you can do is, at the eight month mark, is to give an ultrasound. So we'll do that. And we can see that this um, is a Dartmoor full of the chestnut coat color. And I've already got one of that color. But as you can see, as we age this, we will get that full. 
and you can see that it did inherit the stallion's um, breed. So if I had been looking a chestnut coat color, then that would have been ideal. So I'll just get the full now. So you can see we've got our little chestnut darmer. And we'll just give this an affix. So the Dartmoor, just for this, this example, as I was saying earlier, the chestnut on this occasion is 15%. So this is one of the more popular ones and the more like easily to get ones. The ones that are harder to get are obviously like the Palomino, the Mouse Grey, as you can see they're 1%, and Strawberry Roan on this occasion was 2%. And I have another um, mare here which I covered with a Dartmoor style, and she's a purebred Welsh. And I've colored, covered her with a purebred um, Dartmoor. So we're going to do the ultrasound. We can see that we got a, we've got a filly of Dartmoor breed with a black coat color. So if we just age her, we should be able to see that full. So this is basically, as I'm saying, this won't guarantee it, but it is a way to do it. And you can sell the ones off that you don't need. So if you're starting to get duplicates, I mean, you will do, you will get duplicates. Um, you can make money doing that because a lot of people do need these coats and they haven't got them already. And some people will just want it for the particular breed that it is. So that's a way to kind of get uh, those rare coat colours without using a hair pack and also with using a hair pack. So thank you to Tommy Parker for requesting the video and hope you love your day. Bye guys!